Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 for yet another video on the UK series. Thank you very much for joining me in this particular video. Now, last time out, we were supposed to do a few things, but we ended up sort of getting distracted by this viaduct here and I know from this angle it just looks like a bridge but I assure you it does continue on for quite a significant period of time going all the way out towards Ely. Now once we manage to get this done there are a few things that perhaps I haven't done correctly for example uh, instead of having a wall at the top there's sort of a fence maybe we need to have a, a wall place there instead but um still it does look fairly good now in this video we're actually going to do what i was going to do last time and that is set up bus routes in all of the towns and see if we can refine what we currently have going on so this is going to be perhaps depending on how well this goes the last for a while of the non-time lapse videos and then we're going to be getting back into the time lapse videos to start building in new routes and seeing what we can do so make sure you stay tuned to see if the buses actually end up pushing more and more passengers to use the railways and does that help expand the city So with the with this redone, as you can see, I'm, I'm fairly fairly okay with that. What I have done is off camera, I did uh, do these build in some more farms. So you can see that all of this farmland is now is now in all the way around here. You can see that I've broken from this traditional style that I was doing as I studied farmland a little bit more, and I think that looks a little bit better. You can still see vaguely. You can still see lines and patterns that do follow, uh, so I haven't completely got rid of got rid of the patterns, but they I have tried to make it a little bit more haphazard than here. But all in all, it should just blend in rather nicely. I mean, as you can see here, I've done a, a little bit like that as well, so it it should blend in quite nicely. I haven't yet managed to get all the way down to Litchfield. You can see I I have begun. Uh, sort of this area here connects up this built that line there so this is the next area that can be filled in but this should be this should be all completed before the next next video anyway um, as I said we're going to try and work on bus routes today so the issue that we have here is in addition to bus routes we're probably going to have to start looking at the roads now thankfully because of how these buildings are, it tells me where I can place roads. Because it tells me sort of the kind, the sort of gaps that I might be, I might be looking for uh, for particular roads. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm, obviously, it isn't going to be quite perfect, but you can see that some of these have the, these gaps. For example, are fine over here. But we could fit another road in there, or another road along the back of this. And we could make some tighter roads to see if we can get smaller buildings like uh, like these growing. Um, are there any houses that are maybe that small? Yes, perhaps housing housing along this size growing. And that that is what I want to do. So let's start with... Uh, should we start with Macclesfield? Should we let's start over here with Bracknell? Let's start with Bracknell, of course. Might as well. So let's start figuring out some roads and some some routes. First things first, let's figure out a bus station. Now, I think a bus station can fit rather nicely right here next to the station. Admittedly, it is yet yeah, up on a hill, but that's okay. The main is this may end up becoming the main station eventually. It might need an entire redevelopment, but we might end up with this, or I might end up building a an entirely new massive station here. So there, there is a lot that could happen. So let's go ahead and pop in a bus station. Uh, buildings. Here we go. Now there are lots of different types that I've currently got, but we are going to try and keep it fairly simple. How uh, this looks. Uh, 
that actually looks rather nice, to be honest. Uh, 1850. That is remarkably good. I have two bus terminals. That's pretty nice. You can have a pond in the middle. Okay, well, I, I was going to do other, just a basic style bus station, but this this seems to be working for us rather nicely. Oh, that connection length needs to be rather short, though. There we go. Okay, fine. Some trees, maple and oak trees. That works for me. Two bus, uh, center line, station sign. Station sign, probably not needed. What's that center line? I'm not sure. Is that that line there? Yep. Lighting. It's a little bit modern for the lighting. I will admit that I could, I mean, this, it isn't bad. Maybe we could do that in the future. Yeah, perhaps in, perhaps in the future we could do something like that. This loop stops rather nice. Um, so you could do that and actually connect that up. Again, it's giving us options here. It, it is actually giving us options because now we've got the ability to, for example, if we wanted to, we could try and do that and connect that up. So if I see, so that there is, it's giving us it's, it is actually giving us opportunities here that I, I kind of want to want to try and use and we can always expand the station in the future so for now we'll do just one uh, what's this pullouts I have no idea what that m oh it's just lots of stations okay so we could do zero and zero it's minus zero mean not a clue so we could start with that and expand that further in in time that's that's good so there's a stop okay I, I'm going to take that and that is something I'm going to use in in a few places actually so we'll begin with that there and you can see that we have this is very nice and then streets we could very easily do do that that's remarkably good and the the, the opportunities that this is giving us immediately to start building things is really good there we go and then something along these lines okay and this could go out to to there you can actually see a ring road starting to form right there you can see that could very well end up a ring road at some point in time. Which would probably go... If we did that, we could have the ring road go around there, along there, and then come back around this side. And yeah, You can see it's forming. And I, I like to see that because it's, more, it's a far more natural progression. Okay, great. So we have that. Now let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and put the stations in all the towns first that we're going to be doing this in so we have this here now obviously we cannot throw in a station like this 
over here just yet or can we by doing that admittedly the only problem with that would be if we were to uh, is it that now you can see there we it is possible that there is a there is a genuine possibility here that we could we could do that and we can always move a bus station in the future so let's use it let's make good use of that there you go I have no idea why uh, assets there you go let's clear this up a little bit oops so we have a bus station behind that not too far from from the railway line itself could I straighten that up and have it run parallel to the line I think perhaps not although it, it is nice because it's just off the edge of that Macclesfield um, I found the perfect stop for this I found the perfect spot for the bus station right here we just get rid of that and attempt to build it in come on I know you want to connect like uh... okay if I do that I'll try and get this connected correctly hang on a minute um, streets medium how does that look not not quite ideal here let's go ahead and just fix this up Uh, straight streets like that that's smoother and there we go that's much better a little bit bumpy but that's okay so now we've got a bus station there that does take that and the best part about this is I can create a configure right um, oh look, Kings Cross bridges I've noticed that these are a little bit low. Someone, somebody did mention that to me, and you can see how the the newer ones are higher up, which is much better. Yeah, that's how it should be, but unfortunately, we're, we're going to leave it like this just for now. What is this about to load? That's King's Cross Station for you. Wow. That's going to look lovely. That has to happen in, in some city. Just the, the sheer size of that. But that isn't what I'm after. I was after... Um, is it platform? It's not platform. It's, it's supposed to be a connection. Right. Searching for modules. What am I looking for? Stairs. Oh, here it is. Entrance for ground station, no. Side entrance, narrow platforms. Maybe it goes on the side. There. And the reason I want this is because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a thin road like that is that about right potentially I should be doing this really this road should be that's better there so that makes it easier for passengers to get to that particular station so that's Macclesfield done so that's uh, three, two out of three out of five done. There's two more to go. Early, 
Italy's one's going to be an interesting one. We could put the station here, or we could put it here. Now, I think I'm going to place it here because I can see again a potential for a for an inner ring road going along there, along there, and then maybe somewhere around here. We'll have to see. We will certainly have to see. But I'm going to to pop in the station. Now, for this, I'll probably use a a different kind of building, not not this one, uh, but I will use the more standard traditional building and we will have two platforms like that and I'll, I'll place it here just so that we have the opportunity to expand upon it when we need to. There we go. Okay, and then in West Bromwich, so in West Brom, where are we going to place it? Again, I guess this area is, is where we'd want it. So if I get rid of that and then go ahead and immediately place this in, it gives us the opportunity to, to work on it. And streets, medium. There we go. Lovely. Okay, let's start connecting some of these up now. So we're, we're, we're clearly opening up some of the... some of our roads. That were previously not connected, that we're now going to, to look at connecting. Not everyone, of course, is going to be connected. So if a road, for example, goes into here, I might just leave it into there. Come on auto save. Thank you. So that road can be connected. I guess we could leave that road like that. This road. There we go. Connect that up. That's fine. We could see we could do that if we wanted. We could do that. Or we could leave it as it is there and actually end up connecting up this road. This road could connect and then we could have a road like this that comes around that does not connect like so this road see now what I'm thinking is that when the when the tracks come out this way we're going to obviously have something so there's going to be railway lines along this one so this might change so that's something to to perhaps bear in mind This would have been nice if we could have, if we could have bridged that, that would have been lovely. But it seems like, it seems like that, there is a possibility for it. But this is quite a high bridge. Again, it's those things about high bridges, it's very annoying that we cannot have the, the right size bridge. Right, let's go ahead and ensure that the roads that we were we're building are locked from AI going crazy with them. There we go. That looks good. Let's go over to uh, Early. Any roads here that could potentially be connected? Now this road cannot be because the railway tracks are clearly going to go that way. So that road cannot be connected. This road could potentially be connected as a having a, a, a level crossing, but what I would think more so is that this would happen. And the reason I believe this would happen is because if the railway is coming out like that, this is going to follow like, like so, and this might even join up like that. This will probably stop. As I said, that will there'll be a cut here most likely. There might be a bridge that gets built somewhere. You might as well con connect up. You can stay how you are, I think, for now, and the rest of these can stay where they are. Do I want to add another road in here potentially? 
Let's add a road in here and see what's see what happens if we do that. Could work for us. If we do that, it might actually we might get a bunch of housing along this, which would be ideal. And eventually we'll probably have roads going in here too. Just slowly, slowly starting to build things up and obviously keeping an eye on everything we're doing. The other reason I'm doing this is because when we put the bus routes in, we're going to need the ability to to have buses going around properly and not getting stuck everywhere. So there we go, there's Ely's done. Let's go over to Macclesfield. Any roads here that could be connected? Well, that road most certainly needs connecting. This road probably needs upgrading. We can call this Station Street, you see. There you go. Now we have a proper road there. And we can have Station Street right there. We've built that extra road there. That is fine. That is fine. The rest of these look fine. Would this connect up here, potentially? I think it can. I'd like to leave that as a cul-de-sac as it is. Um, maybe extend this just a little bit. See if we can get another house built in there. Housing there, along there, that is okay. And then this area here looks fairly okay. It's just this side. There's no way to come back around. So what if I were to, to do that? There we go. Okay. That looks, that looks fairly reasonable. So we'll go ahead and lock the roads. Make sure nobody starts adjusting them as they have a really bad habit of doing. There we go. And I think this one here. Awesome. Okay. Fast forward. I think we should fast forward. Let us just keep going. Right, Cornforth. What do we have? Well, first of all, we need to get this back out onto here. So I'm thinking we we run along here for a short period of time, and then we just turn around and straight onto the road. Which then means that I would say this needs to be upgraded right there to a medium road and I think this entire road may need to be upgraded to a medium ah and we have a problem here because of the size of the station that is going to have to be a small road for now I'll figure that one out at a later date this is okay I'm, I'm okay with this would this connect up along here I I think I think this would potentially happen I think that is something that would happen. This may even happen like that. And this road would naturally, because that's another small road, probably do that. And we'd end up with something like that. Now, most likely, we'd have a cul de sac within here. This probably would end up running alongside the back of these. I think that might be what happens here. If I can get the corner to to work. As you can see, it's already done that for me, but I think that is what we would get. Okay, and a way to come on around onto this side, you can cross over, pick up passengers here, and then head back in that direction okay that doesn't look too too bad let's go ahead and lock down some roads so that's locked that is locked that is locked lock up all of this 
lock up that area, lock along here. There we go. Is there anything else I've missed? That's somebody walking to is he walking to work oh. or Yep, he is he is walking to work. That's fantastic. You actually have people occasionally walking to work. We could put a bus stop here, you see, to drop people off. Which would be lovely as well. Okay, and now let's take a look at Bracknell. Ah, Bracknell. The place where roads are a little bit confusing at the moment. Can we do that? I think that would be a valid road. Larger buildings there. Would this join up up here? I think it might, or there is a potential that it would do that. So I'm going to try and get it to do very carefully. I'm going to try and get it to do, do that. There you go. Do that. Okay. That road's fine. Look, already they're building housing down this road. That road is fine. That road is fine. All we need is a road to come back into here. This is something like that is what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road that goes along like this and then have a road that connects up like that that looks fairly good now inside here I'd like to create perhaps a cul-de-sac of some sort there right let's lock these roads in and then we can work on getting once we lock these roads in, we can get the bus stops up and running. Because now we know where everything needs to needs to be. And this particular road here. How does that look? I think that is rather decent for now. Nothing, nothing done over here just yet. But it is allowing places to to expand and improve currently 238 okay fine still getting nothing on the food right let's see bus stops bus stops and bus lines do we have a depot in this city we do not we need a bus depot a uh, bus depot a good place for a bus depot would probably be down here somewhere so i'm going to place it down here Make sure we have the depot before anything else. There it is. Right near the bridge, in the shadow of the bridge. Yep, that, that probably would be correct. Although that... One thing I will say is that normally the bridges would be half that height. The, the fact that I've tried to keep this at such a height it is a little bit higher than I would like. Although in London that they can be this high over the over the houses, but not all the time. Normally they would be sort of at the height of maybe the the top of this house. So there is that. Right, let's get the bus routes up and running. And then we're going to go forward one year in time, as as we've been doing quite a few times, and uh that's way we can tell uh, we can sort of bring some progress to all of this right bus stops uh, midland bus stop city transport standard bus stops i suppose uk bus stop yeah let's just use a midland red what how does this one look
so many different types of bus stops we can use. Wait, are these British bus stops? No ships. No, they are not British bus stops. Okay, fine. What we can do is we can we can create a bus stop and then um What on earth is this? We can create a bus stop and then add little bits uh, where we want. Right. Bus stop locations. We have uh, first so we have a bus going along here, it will come out here. Uh, first stop I think we should have for this bus should be this road over here. Unfortunately we still have the, the traffic on the wrong side of the road. And the reason for that is because um, I could not get it turned around without it causing, causing some significant problems. Should we do a bus stop? down here or in in here look at that we'll do that then what we do is we have a bus stop perhaps here I was going to do a bus stop there and then have it turn around but then it can go up this road we'll have a bus stop here then it goes up this road then we can have a bus stop should we have a bus stop on this side? Then it comes along and around. Let's do a bus stop here for now. We can always expand that later. And then it goes over to where it needs to be. Great. Okay, let's create our first bus line. And it is going to be red. P-A-R-D. Bracknell uh, 01. Right, and we're going to do... P A R D P A R D Bracknell 02. Simple and efficient. Right. The first one will obviously be in a clockwise direction. Oh, you do not go up that road. No, you do not go up that road. Um right waypoints 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 how do i do waypoints this right that was I've, I've seen this problem before when i was testing something so after new road there that is the path you are going to take okay Fractal 02 on the other hand, you're going backwards, so you're going that way, that way, that way, there. There's your road. Awesome. Call this Station Street or something. We'll add the buses in later, but there we go, that's one done. Right, Conforth. How are we going to do this? Uh, I would like it to... Go around there, around there, along there, down here, and then back in, I suppose. That seems to make sense to me. So the first bus stop we should probably have on this side. The second one we can... Should we run along there and then come back down this road and along here? That seems like an idea. So we'll run along there, along there, then we'll come back down this road then we will ah no actually actually I'd rather it did not do that I'd rather we went down this road I know nothing is hit here yet and then from there we come down to here we have a bus stop on this corner uh, bus stop here before it turns down this road has a bus stop here and then goes back into where it needs to be that that seems to be fine okay so Conforth two new lines P A R D Con Conforth zero one not oh one uh, not dash one bright red 
bright red and then another one which is going to be the dark red line PA RD con fourth zero not dash two zero two and that is going to be the dark I, this red is not quite the one I want let's use that red okay add station so for this one we are going from here there reasonable for this one we are going from here this way now see there is an option here we could have it not visit this side at all but I want to encourage growth on this side that is why I'm visiting this side okay Macclesfield let's uh, take a peek at Macclesfield one uh, we are going to have bus stops it's, it goes along here so this side is covered I think the first stop we should have should be here then we can have a stop on the main road I say on the main road um, come back down this road so that's a, a reasonable thing to do think we could okay so if we have one here oh, you can see an extra building popped up there and then it can then we'll have one here then another one coming down this road here and go straight across So there's none actually on this main road which is uh interesting and then it comes back around that seems to be possible p-a-r-d macclesfield there we go zero one and next one is going to be p-a-r-d Mackles Field Zero Two. Okay, first one. Here we go. Add station. There, 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 and there. And then this one. Add station. Opposite direction. That's good. That's apparently London Road. If that's London Road, then I'm guessing London is that way. Or it could be this way, but a very long way away. Right. I would say that would be London Road. Okay. Um, Conforth has a depot. Macclesfield does not. So let's add the depot in. Where should we put a depot? Where's the industrial area? Right here, actually. Why, why can we not just place a depot in quite nicely over here? There, job done. No complaints, really. There we go, there's our depot. Right, Ely. This one would have... Ah, I would kind of like to be able to come back onto the... I guess we could do that, maybe try and avoid that side. So I know I'm kind of talking to myself at this point, but have I used the wrong type of bus stop for, for that place? We'll have to change them anyway. Uh, first of all, we can travel along this way here. And I think having it go along this main road Having it before the main road is probably useful. I could go down here and then turn in. Then we can go along here, then we could turn in here. Up to... Should we go up to this junction or should we go across? I think we should go across here. That road goes that way. Let's go along here. Come back along here. 
have another one just here. Oh, we that's where I was that's where we have the problem. Okay, so we will not go that way, and then this one is covered by that. So this is the one we cannot use. Uh depot, depot, depot. Uh for early Cooper the bus depot here because that's where it might help it might prevent this massive Tesco from popping up better I like these the fact that we have these this is awesome really so you just move from there to there Wow and these look Nats West, Thomas Cook, Ryman Stationers, Vo Station yeah. Vodafone, Laura Ashley, Lakeland, no idea. Some place. Um Candyland, not not sure. Nationwide. And and various other other ones. I think that is that is really nice to to have. Right. P A R D early early. Wait, how on earth is this spelt? Yeah, early. There, zero one. Obviously, no train, no trains. Of course, there's no trains on these. Uh, P A R D A L E zero two. What if it's just pronounced early? I doubt it. This is one of the places I've never, never come across um, before. Okay, and yep, we should probably make the routes. That would be a good idea. So we'll go from here. We're going to go there, 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 there there and for you we're going to do the opposite direction there 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 awesome one more to go and that is West Bromwich uh, which is going to be an interesting one I can already see the ring road for West Brom I can see two ring roads actually okay so how do we do West Brom's one? Um, apparently depot first. Okay, fine. Um, can we just stick it in there? Oh no, that's part of the... Oh, we can. We could if we wanted to. Just, just put it in here. Should actually work for us if I did... Come on. No. There you go. Okay. And bus stops. So we want to be going around this way, that's for sure, because I want to encourage some building around this side. So there's one. We have to have another down here, that is for sure, and then another at the end here. Then we'll come back, then we've got this really tight corner, which I think we're going to end up redefining at some point. Then I guess we go up here, all the way up to this junction. Then we have an option of two. We either go that way in or we go straight down this main road. And I think going straight down the high street is the best option here. Followed by... Actually, that's probably enough for now. I should get a fair amount of this opened up. The only one I'm thinking about is this area here, but I think for now that's okay. So, here we go. Last one. P-A-R-D West Prom 01. And uh, 
Purple? No. No, 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 no. P A R D West Br Brom 0 0 12. Uh, West Brom 0 1. That's color. West Brom 0 2. That's color. Add station. So we're here. So it's going to be this way. And then this one is going to be. that way right so that is all of that done now what I'm going to do is go forward one year in time apparently nothing has changed so we're in the year 1856 nothing nothing has changed at all should we go up another year let's go up to 1857 there we go we're in 1857 now apparently nothing has changed okay well 1857 we're still stuck as we are let's get some buses running so buy vehicles let's buy some stage coaches let's buy should we buy 10 10 for each line very high maintenance bright red ones go on the bright red line eventually if they if there's too many of them we'll will end up obviously getting rid of them but since we have no cost we might as well try this and see what's what's happens 10 might be certainly too much maybe we should do one per stop let's try that in Macclesfield actually so Macclesfield we have six stops so let's do six on each I think that that is the way we need to go auto save come on otherwise this video is never going to end okay very high bright red Maxfield zero one go again another six paint them red very high Macclesfield zero two there we go come forth how many stops six so we do six let's see if the six six thing works because these these are a little bit further apart so Perhaps it, it isn't going to work as as I was thinking. But you never ever know. There and there. There we go. That's got on fourth done. Just Bracknell and at West Brom to go right so Bracknell is smaller but it also has six do all of them have six that six there there and West Brom just the final one wait how many does West Brom have three six nine so should we try nine try nine see what happens you know I suppose it does not really matter as of as I have no no costs for these but I would like to do things fairly nicely anyway uh, make sure it works right there we go so what do we have here we have 23 waiting for a train that's coming in that can carry 12 okay there's our first problem 
That's our first problem. The trains are going to end up having to be longer. Did this just pick up? How many of you picked up? 11 out of 12. And there's a... L there are quite a few people waiting here. Okay. And then we've got three already waiting there. One and two waiting there. Wow, this has actually immediately started working. Six waiting there and one waiting there. And they're waiting on different lines. How about in early? Yep, we have a uh, 16 waiting here. In that case, the 10 might, might actually work here. Unless these are already full. That's full. That's full. That isn't full. There we go. That is going to pick somebody up. Good. That is full. So, how are we looking here? 16 still? Still 16. Okay, so we have something going on. And people actually wanting to get on, on the train. The West Brom Early train clearly is now going to be always full. So that has certainly helped. And we have people wandering around there. Let's have a look in Macclesfield. Macclesfield is busy. We need to we need to really consider double tracking this railway. Because I think this is quite clearly that is going to be a main line. In fact, I think all of these are going to end up main lines, but there we go. Ten on that, sixteen waiting to go to Carnforth. 18 on that train. That train has 19 on it. Suddenly everything has picked up. One person waiting there. Nobody waiting at this, at the actual main bus stop. Uh, I suppose that's because everybody will end up going over there. It's not, not something I thought of at the time. 422. Why? Right, so there's always that one spot where things pick up. Cornforth, we've got our first big. That's a full train, and we that was our first big um, person icon. Big D. That person's walking to disappeared. I thought they were walking to work. Two people on board. Still two people on board. One person on board. Still one person on board, maybe? No. That person has... Huh? Emily Scott's walking to, in walking to work. It is helping. Eight people waiting there. Right, this, I think, this has been rather successful overall. Now we just have to see if it helps build up the sort of the, the population. Bracknell's really starting to, to take shape, isn't it? We'll start having more housing coming up, I'm sure. 40 waiting over here. With trains that only hold 20. Now, I think we're going to have to do something about this in the next video. Or once we build up the next uh, section. Also, this looks very nice for, for a high street. Admittedly, the buildings are not... The roofs are not great. These ones are much better, but... You know, Vodafone, uh, Robert Diaz... Uh, Truly scrumptious sweets, not a clue. Some news agents, Greg's, Costa, a famous post office, staple of Britain. Next, uh, the icing store, Oddbins, Oddbins, uh, Tui, the entertainer, hardware and tools, job centre plus nationwide supercuts. There's another supercuts opposite, Ryman Stationers, H. Samuel, H. Travels, a subway. 
Uh, th this is this is really nice, and I have seen lots of British mods coming up. For the residential ones, all I am waiting for is the f is for them to be able to create vehicles, because at the moment it's only pedestrians. But as soon as they can do that, they are all going into this particular series. Uh, where should I? Just trying to find a, a spot where I I could um. This could work nicely, couldn't it? And yeah, let's do let's do that. This is where I'm going to end this particular video. That looks pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2, the UK series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support will be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I will see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK series, where um, I'm sure we're going to get something going on. I like the fact that through there you can see things without wheels. So strange how the glass works on that. Anyway, I'll see you next time.